Teach your son that when a princess is asleep, she does not need to be awakened by a kiss because unconscious doesn't mean approval. And his mouth needs to learn the taste of consent before it mistakenly swallows silence as permission. Teach your son that those who wear a lovely dress aren't queens and those who cover up themselves aren't witches. They are women. And whether or not they prefer to show off their skin, tell your son that disrespect is born out of their mind and not on another person's clothing. Tell your son stories where the fate of the falling kingdom lies in his hands, and so when he couldn't keep the walls from crumbling, the princesses screamed for help. Tell him of the knights that arrived and the warriors who fought, and allow him to thank the little girls. So when their voices seem so loud, he knows better than to shut them off. Teach him that when a woman leaves after the dance at twelve midnight, chase her not for the little glass shoes, nor the name she never left, but for her safety on the dark street she's running off to. Look for her on the empty sideways in the dim parks, and even when she got her fairy godmother, ask her if she wants to be accompanied. Protect her from the harm of a poorly lit street, but if the only thing that worries him is how to get the girl and how to win her heart, then he's the danger and he needs to leave her the fuck alone. And lastly, teach your son about fairy tales and then teach him about life. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still like dust, I'll arise. Tell him that the only difference is that they aren't stronger than the princesses. They aren't braver nor wiser for saving them. Tell him that women aren't made to be protected. They don't need to need saving. They deserve to take up space as much as your son does. So when the girls struggle to look for safety in the man, instead of wondering why, ask yourself, what are you teaching your sons?